Hey guys, so I've recently learned this from MJ Marco and a um, Zoom a Zoom meeting between him and Hamza. By the way, I am a young man on self improvement, and I box, wrestle, as well as weight with, and I'm looking to unite and have a community where there's young men where they're a group of young men who's helping each other grow improve and grow so if you like me please continue watching the videos help this channel grow by subscribing liking sharing comment etc if i do anything wrong if there's anything i can improve on please if a comment tell me let me know so that i can go on to improve it so let's help each other grow and i hope this video is of value for you guys so keep on watching and I see you guys in the next part. And once I looked at it, I reflected back on my own life and I, I, I actually resonate with that lesson. And I, and I saw how I could implement the lesson, you know. So, what MJ DeMarco say was, he say, you can't swim you can't want to swim without getting wet, without expecting to get wet. So let me repeat that. You can't want to swim and not expect to not get wet. And expect to not get wet. I'm sorry. So in my own life, for example, when I was uh, boxing, when I was sparring in the ring, I was I keep getting hit, right? Any of the martial artists in there, right? They know it's frustrating to keep getting hit, right? Keep getting hit in the head, like just with the jab, from time to time. It, it's just frustrating. All right, you move around, you move around. That guy, he keep jabbing. You. He keep diff, like, oh, what's it called? Keeping distance. He keep keeping distance with you. And it's so hard to get inside. And, um, yeah, I got mad at that. And then it turned out too well because I was, like, I wasn't focused. I was, again, way off edge, anxious, nervous, and, yeah. And the thing is, part, a part of me had expected me to go in there and win and dominate, like, that quickly it's just not gonna happen you know like again you you would rather kill a man by a, what's it called you would rather dominate a man with 10,000 cuts and kill him and kill him with 10,000 cuts rather than kill him with one hard punch you know so it's the uh, 10,000, 1,000 cuts that hurts the most. And I, I I expected myself to go in there and win, like, quickly and quickly, you know. And I expected myself to just go in there and not get hit, you know, and not get wet in the water. That's that's the analogy that the mark, uh, MJ the marker used, and it's just great. Looking back at it, especially when I'm... Uh, Afraid and when I'm scared, do something. I right, whether it's sparring, that's my number one fear, right? Sparring, uh, training, um, working, right? Anything. I see that I'm scared because I'm scared to get wet. I'm scared to get my hand a little dirty a little bit. And then my coach would would be saying to me, "You can't expect to go in there and not get hit. You are going to get hit, but the goal is not." To get hit in this sport, you know, I do see it. It's just, it's kind of the same thing as you trying to reach perfection without getting to perfection, but in doing so, you are uh, you are chasing excellence. I'm pretty sure that's Vince Lombardi. <laughs> so, yeah, and tell tell me if you guys have went through it, like when you guys are scared. For example. You are a taxi driver. 
and you hate your job, you hate your nine to five, nine to ten job, um, you want to quit and start your own business. And you hear, you look at this community and you, you want to join this online community where they help you uh, get your result faster, right? Where they help you uh, make money. And then, but but then you keep prolonging it. You keep making excuses. You keep procrastinating and say, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll think about it. And then you just, every single time you have that in your mind, it motivates you. You want to do it, but then you like, ah. I'll just leave it for some time. But you procrastinate, you keep going on your job. I'll, I'll wait until I make enough money. Oh, I'll wait until I'm set. I'll, I'll wait until the kids are gone. I'll, I'll wait until this or that. But it doesn't work that way. I know I'm a 14 year old talking about fucking life. I know. But it just doesn't work that way. And. I've experienced that myself, you know. Like, for example, yeah, I'm scared to start a YouTube channel because I th- I thought that I wasn't c- credible enough. But I'm like, yeah, I'll just document my journey, and that, and that seemed to work. I, right. but um, that's the thing, you know. You can't expect to swim. You can't want to swim without getting wet. You can't want. To have success without the hardship, without getting your hands a little money sometimes. Like it's fine. It's fine. And this is really just a message for my for myself, alright, for my past self, alright. for him to look up to for, for me to look back and say, Oh shit, I should have done that better. So, yeah. So the general tips that I would give you is or practical actionable step that I would give you is go out and just try things just go out and try things you know do what you think you want not what you want what you think you want whatever it is that you think you want go and do that first fail at it and from there you like when you do something you think you want you may succeed you may actually like it or you may not actually like it but it's fine at least now you know at least now you have a better idea of where to go of what to do what not to do you know what i mean uh, i haven't been in much life experience but which is a problem but really just do that and i'm gonna start doing that myself with the youtube channel boxing even and i'll see how that goes right but go out and try out for yourself and see how that goes if you fail you fail it's fine just keep on moving just keep on going all right if you don't like it do something you like do something you want to do think you want to do and if you actually like it man go down that path Go, go down that path i encourage you to so with that being said You can't be successful without getting your hand a little money, a little dirty. So thank you, thanks you guys for watching. If this video will help you, please subscribe to the channel below. Help the channel grow, share, like, uh, comment, and let's go on this journey together. As I'm not that experienced, man. I'm just gonna say that it's true. I'm gonna be honest. So let's go through this journey together. And do what we can to not leave anything on the table. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.